What's up, everybody? Welcome to the vicinity of Anderson, Indiana. We are in the frigid tundra. Welcome to our channel, Southern Life. This is Jose. Hey, Katie. And we are driving towards Anderson, Indiana as we explore the rural parts of Indiana. We're outside of Perkinsville. Is that what it's called? Perkinsville? Yes. And we're heading into Anderson. Um, I want to start this drive on the outskirts of Anderson so you guys can see what it's like to drive into uh, Anderson from the outskirts. It just makes it that much more exciting to start from here, from the outskirts and drive into town. Bunch of old cemeteries here. It is freezing cold. The temperatures outside is 21 degrees. And we are on some really beautiful country roads. Kind of icy and cold. And we're heading to Anderson, Indiana. Where Katie has a lot of childhood memories. Exploring Anderson. What are your thoughts on this area? It's very rural. I remember I this is far out, so I, I never came out here. Uh, but inside the town, I don't remember it being rural at all. You used to go to Anderson a lot when you were a kid. Uh, a couple times a year to see my great grandparents. So you have memories in Anderson. Yeah. Is there like places you guys would go or anything you remember about the uh, time? I remember being at the ho at their house. Um, that's where I spent most of the time. I was there. Um, I remember coming back when I was a little older, like after my grandma had died. Because after my great grandma died, we really didn't come here. Um, we came back like two or three times after she passed. I remember eating at the Red Lobster. There's a Red Lobster here? Yeah, with my mom. <laughs> okay, I'm driving on the middle because there's like, it seems like there's ice on this road. It seems like, I know, shut up already, car. I don't want to be on the edge of this road. It seems like there's actual ice on the road here, which I haven't encountered yet. I guess we're just so far from like anything that they're not really keeping up on the roads out here. So you do find little patches of ice here and there. This is absolutely beautiful. This is like, you remember the American Papers TV show? Yeah. This looks like the top place they would go. I think they have. <laughs> yeah, it does look like that. They're based out of Iowa, right? Yeah. Car keeps beeping at me, but I keep trying to stay off the edge of the road. They said they had a lot of snow up through here. Temperature this morning was in the low teens, freezing cold. Please take a break. I'm not taking a break, you stupid car. Shut up. I'm on a freaking country road full of ice. This car is frustrating. I don't need a break. I'm fine. I'm just not going to drive on the edge of the road, you stupid camera. So shut up. This is beautiful. Look at these houses in the woods and stuff. It's gorgeous. Beautiful rural area. So what would you guys do when you guys would come up here? Uh, be at my great grandparents house. It was pretty much visiting family so you weren't like going around too much. We were just at the house. Does it snow a lot out here? This is so cool. Yeah. We stopped coming about the time I was like eight when grandma passed and I only remember coming down twice after that. Until we moved to Florida. This is so neat out here. This is like, it almost feels more country. It does feel more country than Alabama where we used to live. Yeah. Because this is like straight up agriculture and corn and like this is like really rural here. Like this is like wow. This is more rural than anything I've seen in Alabama. Like yeah. this is like straight up farming and yeah. Like 
corn and farming and tractors and stuff and yeah well, you're, you're driving into the town I, I was usually driving in from the north so i don't think you were I, driving at eight we were we came in through the north north side so i probably have never seen this i gotcha i gotcha but uh, just look around this is like so yeah like, this really feels country. Like, this is the real. This, this is what I live out in the country. You, know? you don't live. This is the country. Yeah. People are actually like driving tractors and farming and stuff out here. Stop ahead. This is country. People are like literally driving tractors. And, mm -hmm. you know, I live out in the country. You, know? you live out in the woods. This is the country. So surreal, like it reminds me of where we used to live in Alabama. Yeah. They board up churches and stuff, and barns, and red barns with horses and stuff. They really. And the grass is still green in some spots. It's kind of weird. No water grass. This car will not shut up. I mean, I dreamed about living in a rural area. I would think about living somewhere like this. This is like definitely yeah. like mm -hmm. definitely has that like rural country vibe. Mm -hmm. Every aspect of it. Yeah. I can see myself wanting to get some horses out here and just ride a dang horse down the road. Yeah. This Mustang behind us is like totally a rush. I like how there's vegetation too. It's not like completely. It's not completely. A, Hamilton Cemetery. Up ahead. We just passed it. Yeah. Okay, this car behind us is like in a complete rush. I'm not in a rush. I'm exploring. I'm not sure why this person's like all on us. I'm not in a rush. If you're in a rush, you can pass me, buddy. It's 45, I'm going 45. All right, I got four tags. You do not even know where the crap are going. Absolutely one of the coolest rides I've taken in a while. I love how there's vegetation, like big pine trees and stuff. Okay, we just entered snow cover. We gotta be really careful not to get in the snow covered areas. That's kind of one of the reasons why we didn't really go into Michigan on this trip. I didn't want to get into the snow because this car's clearance is so low. If you're in a rush, why don't you just pass me? It's a clear open road. If you're in a rush, you can just pass me. I'm not in a rush. Go for it. You're in a sports car. Now we're like in actual snow cover for the first time on this trip. Now we've been through areas where there's a little bit of snow here and there, and you can tell it snowed a few weeks ago. But now, like, there's still snow in the ground. Okay, here. we're in town. Wow, look at these houses. Yeah. I didn't expect brand new houses here. I expected, like, kind of mm -hmm. like, beat up and poor. It looks pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Are those cracks, like, just cracks on the road, or is that ice? I'm not sure. In I want to drive so much slower than what I'm driving, but this idiot's like literally like bumper to bumper with us. I'm not gonna go fast. He's like literally on our bumper. It's like a Mustang. What a jerk! Like I said I'm, I'm from Florida. I'm not, I don't know if this is ice. I don't know what the crap's going on here. No, it's road patches. Yeah, either way, I'm not gonna drive fast because I'm not gonna be driving mm -hmm. stuff like this though. I'm not sure why this guy's so aggressive. It's dirty on the curve. I got all day on my vacation. Yeah. This 
doing it on purpose to just be a jerk. Mm -hmm. Well, we're almost to town, so. I'm driving like extra careful because I really don't know what to do on the ice or snow. If I had a patch of ice, I've never hit in my life, so I wouldn't know what to do. Alright, so now we're in town? Yeah. It looks a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah. I just always in my mind imagine that like Indiana would be just as run down as some of these mm -hmm. places we explore in the south, but I guess it's not. Yeah. Seems very uh I don't know. Let me see how's on the outskirts there. That's a little bit better condition. There's another cemetery. Yeah, I mean, when I used to come here, I was very little. So all I remember was pretty much their house. It's all right. Yeah. These are nice houses on the outskirts here. Yeah. Big newer houses. Technically in Anderson. It's a pretty decent sized town, it's not small. Yeah. Give me some statistics on town. Okay. Is this school bus like not driving the way it's supposed to? Like, it's like out in the middle of the intersection. Over in like population size, all that stuff. Yep. Okay, now it looks like we're in town for real. There's about 55,000 people here. Oh, wow. So that's a decent sized town. That's not small. Yeah, their population has decreased a little bit. That's 2%. Bad. Yeah. That's bad, but you can always you can see signs yeah. of it too. You can see signs of it decreasing. Let's see if I can get more recent. It's probably people just moving to Indianapolis because it's bigger and more opportunity. Yeah. That guy's doing the same thing to the car behind us now. I like the style of the house. It's kind of like wearing... Okay, it's 73% W, 14% B, and 6.7% H. Okay. That's kind of high for this region, isn't it? On both... Uh... Kind of can't buy. Yeah. So this is like a really like interesting looking town. Yeah. Like Cape Cod looking houses and stuff. Yeah. What are the incomes and history and anything else? Look at these houses, baby. Look, 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 look at these big houses. Yeah. Big old Victorian looking houses. So it's starting. 
starting to seem a little familiar. Let's get in the back here to explore some of these neighborhoods. Look at these Victorians on this side. Yeah. That is so cool. These are some gorgeous Turn left onto John Street. Okay, I think we're here. We can turn this off. Getting in here and explore some of these neighborhoods. Looks really neat. Big Victorians. Mitzi's Morsels. Big giant Victorian houses, yeah. big front porches. Mm -hmm. I love neighborhoods like this. Mm -hmm. Big houses. Yeah. Let's see here. A little alleyway through there. The roads are so narrow. I'm trying to go into one of these little neighborhoods, but like they're almost like little alleyways. Yeah, I remember they were. Wow, this is gorgeous. Yeah, the houses do have a This is the type of place there. where you can just explore mm -hmm. endlessly. Mm -hmm. Look at this little house right here. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the rural roads are like little alleyways, mm -hmm. and there's yeah. probably more blocks. They should probably close if they, you know, if they, I don't know if they have a city planning here, mm -hmm. but if they have a city planning, they could probably close a lot of these, um, close a lot of these uh, secondary streets. That would just bark. Oh my god! Oh, no. I love dogs. Yeah. Oh, my hood, dog. <laughs> that dog right there. This is odd. Look at this little house. <laughs> oh, this is something else on here. This is neat. This is neat. Am I going down the wrong way? No, it's it's a, it's not a one way. It's not a one way. Cool. The architecture is so cool. I think they have some city planning here to figure out if they can close some of these streets. There's like way too many blocks mm -hmm. per neighborhood. Like half of these blocks are unnecessary. They can probably close these blocks off. And then even sell the land to some of the homeowners. Yeah. If they want bigger properties on it. Mm -hmm. Look at how cool this street is. Unfortunately, some of these houses are going to crap. Like that one right there. It's a shame to see a city with just beautiful homes. Oh, look at that. That's so sad. I'm going to get a picture of that one. It's really sad to see just a beautiful city have homes in that much disrepair. Let's see where I can turn around here. Let's see where I can turn around. All boarded up. I don't even think somebody's living there right now. I don't even think nobody's living there. The house is boarded up. That's it. Yeah. It's boarded up. Um, it's completely boarded up. There's nobody living there. Yeah. It's pretty sad. It looks like something out of Detroit. Completely boarded up. I think if you send her a picture of that, she's gonna cry. Yeah. You could probably get that house for enough if you wanted to buy it. You wanna buy it? Uh, yeah. 
This was your grandpa's house? My great grandparents' house. Dude, it's pretty much pretty much nothing left to it at this point. It's bricks, so it's savable, but wow. That's yeah, only a roof. It's pretty sad, dude. Like there's nothing left to it. You were expecting to find a house somebody was living in. There's still furniture inside of it too. Yeah. Like it's boarded up and stuff, but there's you can still still furniture and you can see stuff inside that the house. That was the kitchen. Yeah. They have a little garage in the back? Yeah, I remember playing and playing out here as a little kid. Wanna find out who owns it? There's broken glass back here. Yeah. This neighborhood's rough. Look at the garage. What's crazy is yeah. like It's different when it's your family stuff that's looking like that, huh? Look, dude, you can literally look inside and see stuff inside the house. Yeah. Look, you can literally see. You can probably get that for nothing. Yeah. This neighborhood is rough, though. Like, look, there's, like, graffiti on the back with gang stuff. Mm. Rough, huh? I'm sorry. I'm sure that's not what you expected to see. Oh. There's like gang graffiti on the side of it. It's differently when it's your family stuff, huh? Yeah. Just so one way. We'll go around the block and swim back around. Um, sorry, I guess. And that's not the condition you expected to find it in. I'm sorry. You got a lot of memories there? Yeah. I'm sorry. Town had to be gorgeous in its day. I mean, even now in this condition, you can still see that it's beautiful. And it's just a shame that it's like this. It's like there's literally ganger feet inside that building, dude. You all right? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's not what you wanted to see. Mm, no, and I'm sure the person I just she's gonna it. cry, dude. I know. There's literally ganger feet inside of it. Sorry, I guess this was the shop out back. Yeah. Wow, dude, that's rough. I don't know if we're gonna get stuck here, but we might get stuck here. This is like ice and. Take pictures. I'm sorry, I hurt. But just. Um. No, I. Uh, I'm not taking pictures. Yes, you are. Take it and send it to me. You need to see what it's really like. Yeah. I bet you I can get pictures of the inside. It looks like there's nobody living there. That's gotta hurt. I'm sorry. Like literally, not only is it abandoned, but like it's abandoned and there's still stuff. Like it's abandoned and there's still stuff like mm -hmm. there. She saw it. Take a picture of the back. Take pictures of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll buy, well, you might. You might buy. It. I don't know if you want to buy it. Not the other. The other one. Yeah. Sorry, I had it. But you can buy it. I'm, I'm trying to see if it's up or not. It's definitely abandoned, that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna camera real quick. Camera real quick. <sighs> was not expecting that. I'm not tempted to try to see what the inside looks like. There's a way you can find a hole and sit through the county, look at the county property appraiser. 
Is there any way you can find out who owns it? I don't know. Crap. I'd buy it. I just don't know what the inside looks like. So this is your great, great your grandparents or your great grandparents? Great grandparents. Great grandparents' house. It's known. Yeah. I'm really tempted to see what the inside looks like mm -hmm. to see if the inside's ruined. It's literally snowing right now. The bones look good for the most part. It's gonna need a roof for sure. What's the crime rate in the city? Look up the murder rate in the crime rate in the city. It's really snowing. Look, there's Spanish kids in this neighborhood. Okay, look. Yeah. They're all Spanish. There's a bunch of Spanish kids, so it can't be too backwards. Um. Uh, kids happy to see their parents coming back from school. They're all Spanish. Spanish family with a bunch of kids. Mm hmm. It doesn't look like uh, there's a Spanish shirt here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look bad, baby. It really doesn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's run down and stuff, but it's not. It doesn't look dangerous. Twelve out of a hundred percentage. Yeah, it's a little bit rough. <coughs> That's a little bit much. It's safer than a lot of Indiana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. You get a murder rate out of it? Um, looking. Now look at this house. It's just like completely gone. The rate is zero point one. Well, it's not. They're not killing people. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Dude, I wonder how we can find out who owns that place and how much we can get for it. I'm almost tempted to look through the windows to see if there's damage on the inside of the house. Because if the roof hasn't leaked and the inside's still solid, you can repair it. Yeah. But I'm, I'm really, I know there's nobody out here. I don't know how we can find out who owns it. Uh, off, 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 yeah. The car behind us is like another you know, huge rush. There's a lot of really angry road raging people here. There might be a lot of drug use. Because normal people don't, I mean, it says... Yeah. Wow, the car behind us is like really road raging as well. There might be a lot of drug use around here. People are road raging like that because yeah. they're angry because they're drugged up. There's literally gang graffiti on the side of the house. I don't know what to tell you. I'll see Andrews in that time. Yeah, and then we can go to the big boy. Okay. You all right? Yeah, it's just... Not what you expected, huh? Not what I expected. Yeah. Well, we expected a family living there. This one's boarded up right here. Mm -hmm. And the roof's caved in on it. Mm -hmm. But it looks like they're remodeling. No, they're not remodeling that. They mm -hmm. Look at the roof. Yeah. That car has the window blown out. See that car right there? Yeah. Usually when the window's blown out, it means because somebody was trying to steal what was inside of it. Mm -hmm. So there's probably a lot of high crime right here, too. Doesn't have an extension cord. No trespassing. Yeah, this is really ghetto out here, baby. Yeah. So no trespassing sign? Mm-hmm. This is like really ghetto. You don't put a giant no trespassing sign in front of your house for no reason. You put that up once you've already had it with people. Mm -hmm. So it looks really rough, man. Mm -hmm. Didn't expect it because most of the towns we've seen have been in really good shape. Yeah. But then you get out here, it's like, wow, this is like This bad. makes me really sad because I remember coming to their house and it was always so warm and inviting and, you know, spending time with them and, you know. And I can tell you there's probably more bad stuff going on around here than good memories being built at this yeah. point. Unfortunately. What's sad is that this town, you could tell was pretty. Yeah. You could just tell that this was a pretty town. And I was coming out here in the 90s, and I really, I, I liked coming here. It was... So that one? Yeah. It's in bad shape. Mm -hmm. I mean, that house there, you could probably get it for nothing. 
I, I wanted to look, but I don't want to trespass. Like, I don't want to trespass, but like, yeah. it pretty much looks like if the roof is good, mm -hmm. they spray paint the keep out on that one. So, like, I've seen cars are blowing out windows. Yeah. It's like they fix this. But one I up. do see that they're the people, fixing up houses. The people that move, the thing is this the people that are moving in are probably Spanish. Mm -hmm. Like, the people that were living in that neighborhood all seem Spanish. So, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it is an older section of the city, probably. I'll bet you this isn't even the worst part of the city. Look at these. Yeah. They're all like... Mm -hmm. I see a lot of Spanish people. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with gang graffiti and stuff like that, you're you're dealing with, like, mm -hmm. this is there's a different element here yeah. than when you were growing up. There's a lot of just, like, boarded up houses that are all dilapidated and stuff. Look at that house right there. I'm gonna keep going because yeah. the lady gave us a hard look, but yeah. she's still peering at us. Mm -hmm. This is like a Detroit pretty much at this point. Yeah. Look at this island week. Look at how many trespassing signs on this island week. Mm -hmm. That house over there is boarded up. Look at this. This looks like some. Yeah. Like, what the crap is all that, dude? Look how many no trespassing signs. Yep. Everywhere. Oh, that's the house that's abandoned. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Can I see your phone? Sure. And these are beautiful. Like you could tell that these houses were absolutely gorgeous in their day. Yeah, it was. Be I remember yeah. it was beautiful, and I remember walking, and it, it felt safe. I mean, I don't know what happened. Wow, dude. these houses, like you can tell, they're beautiful. Like mm -hmm. you can see that they were like structurally beautiful architecture, and now all you see is no trespassing signs everywhere. It's definitely a depressing. Yeah. Seems like this neighborhood's mostly Spanish at this point. Yeah. Like most of the American people moved in, and like people from other places have moved in, like just to like, fill in the void. Yeah. And if they hadn't moved in here, what I'm seeing is, if these people hadn't moved in, there'd be even more abandoned houses. Yeah. Like if it wasn't for like the few Spanish people that are still moving into this town. Mm -hmm. See, they're trying to fix it up. Though. Like these, I bet you these are all people who moved in. Yeah. Painted them. Try, they're trying to like. There's people fighting to make it better. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure the vast majority of Americans are gone at this point. Mm -hmm. Not my vast majority, but just like so many people have left. Mm -hmm. And the people, unfortunately, the people that I'm running into. See, these two are pretty. Mm -hmm. But I bet you these are people that moved like from another country and fixed them up. Yeah. And if it wasn't for for people moving in and fixing some of these houses up. This town would be like gone by now. Yeah. There wouldn't be anything to it. And that's what's crazy about America. Not only did, you know, you have um, the natural birth rate, mm -hmm. it's now less than the death rate. So there's more people dying than being born. The few people you do see, they seem super aggressive by the way they're driving. Like, you know how, like, when we're in our Cincinnati and Indianapolis, a lot of people we met seemed really, like, friendly and, like, they let you pass in traffic and stuff? Mm -hmm. the, the people here are kind of road ragey, so... Yeah. My experience has been that when you see a town where people are hyper-aggressive like that, mm -hmm. it's because they're all drugged up. Because sober people don't behave like that. Yeah. It's taken me a while to figure that out. It's really taken me a while to figure that out. Like, it's not something I, I picked up right off the bat. Mm -hmm. But as we started to see what... Oh, look at a dunk, man. Oh, snap. I remember dunk. this. Remember a dunk? No, I remember this road. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Buick on 26 is over here. It seems like a really cool, cool time to explore, but it's a yeah. shame. I ha I'm having, like, random memories. You'll get them. Because I was so little. It's like... It's not something you think about every day, so. Right. But I do have a, a lot of really warm memories here, so. But over the, the over the years, mm -hmm. it's a one way. I hate one ways in downtowns. Mm -hmm. They're the worst thing a city could, especially a city that's dying. Mm -hmm. Cause what they need is they they really need to get in here. Or, so for this city to start turning around, mm -hmm. is they need to get uh, civil engineers to start figuring out what the crap is wrong with their roads. Mm -hmm. There's just it's that donk. It's at a dealership. There's a donk at a dealership. 
How do you get it back no. to Florida? No. Hold on. No. Hold on. No. no. Hold on. No. No. What's wrong with it? It's at a dealership. You can buy it. Windshield. Cracked windshield, so what? I can fix all that. No. 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 So it's got a couple bullet holes. Let me just look at this No. Sketch walking up towards us. I don't trust people to dress with. Like I don't trust homie at all. Please, let's buy it. It's no. got some rust. No. Uh, it is a car dealership. No. They'll ship the floor for us. No. Please. No. Come on, no. No. Where are you going to find a donk in Florida? I don't know, but I don't care. No. Sitting on twenty five. No. In rough shape. Even the ribs are frozen to the ground. <laughs> hey, even the ribs are frozen, Jose. Is there a group home back here or something? How do I get out of here? This is like literally somebody's back. We're literally in somebody's backyard. Hmm. Here's an alleyway. Lovely. Okay. Dude, this town is rough. And what's weird is, like, every other town we've gone to in Indiana has been in great shape, you know? Yeah. Like, every town we've gone to has just been in great shape. You sure you don't want to buy a donk? I'm sure. I'd rather buy a house in this town than a donk. <laughs> we could have both, man. No. I'm sure both were quite affordable. No. Look at this house right here. A castle looking thing. Yeah, I remember I remember the kitchen in that house. See that car's talking a horn to that car. Uh-huh. They're really road raging, and that's usually a sign that people are drugged out. Mm -hmm. Like sober people. Don't. Yeah. One thing I, I definitely have picked up traveling across America, mm -hmm. that there's a huge correlation between people that are not sober yeah. and road rage. It was like one of those nineteen thirties, nineteen forties kitchens. Yeah. Beautiful white kitchen. How do you buy that house? It's probably worth nothing. I don't know. I mean, you could probably buy it, but then you'd have to clean it up and the city would make yeah. you like, you know what I mean? Like, it'd be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. It does seem like there's way too many angry people in this town, though. Yeah. Which is odd because in the Midwest and everything we've seen so far in the Midwest has just been friendly and kind people. These people seem like they're just like on their last leg type of people. That house will eventually go to crap. <laughs> a year or two more. It's brick. It yeah. No, still. a year or two more. Like once the roof starts caving in and like the roof gets leaks and stuff, you're done. These, the biggest problem this city has that I can tell mm -hmm. is the, the, they really need to get some silver engineers in here and start closing some of these roads. There's too many stop signs. Stop and go, stop and go. They need to make traffic flow more fluently. Well, they got to have somebody come in here. They got to have somebody come in here. Look at this, babe. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Paramount sign. Cool. They got to have somebody come in here and start closing some of these alleyways and start closing some of these roads that are really useless so the traffic can flow more fluently through the city. These stop and go cities mm -hmm. are horrendous. Like people will literally not go to town and spend money because of it. Yeah. They gotta get some civil engineers in here. And instead of repainting these roads, closing roads, closing roads, closing roads. Look at this building right here. Yeah. That's so cool. That is awesome right there. Look at that. Like that, it's in the middle of the city. It could be a really cool park. Yeah. They got too many stop signs. Yeah, didn't even Wetumpka just put in a skate park? Yeah, downtown. Yeah. Yeah, they, they really got to... They, they have to do something about this road. This road grid pattern makes no sense. And I'm looking at the road map, a layout of the city, and that's probably not even the worst part of the city. I, I guarantee there's parts that are way more run down yeah. than that. 
It looks like on, the, on this side of town, it looks even more run down than that. Yeah. It's a shame to see a city like that has so much potential yet. <laughs> I always thought the United States could do something like rather than say like Indiana where there's like a lot of stuff like this or Ohio. Yeah. Or like the state there's like or Michigan. Mm -hmm. And letting the communities come in from other countries and just be like, okay, if you buy a house that's you know not inhabitable. See I'm telling you this side of town's even worse. Mm -hmm. It's like even way more rundown. Yeah. Here's another four Mustang they're driving aggressively. Yeah. I think this side over here might actually be in worse shape. Yeah. I haven't been in this area in 20 years. And I cannot believe how it looks. I think the Red Lobster is in Muncie, but. Because I don't think it was here. But they're so close to each other. This guy in the Mustang's doing the same thing the other guy was. Just like really angry people. Let's just get out of the way. Let's go up in the here real quick. Not sure why they're drunk. I have a feeling that that's not even the more rundown part of the city. I feel like some of these on the south side, just by looking at the, at the cityscape, it might be even more rundown on this end. True. Oh, you can't get over there. Mm -hmm. Crap. I just want to get out of that guy's way. He was looking like he was going to ram into us. Yeah. Does she reply for anything? Yeah, she's like so sad. Yeah, I would. Well, this town's in rough shape, man. Uh -huh. I can't get a large block. I see. This is so sad. Yeah. Probably needs a new roof. It probably needs a lot of things. I mean, it's bricks, so it's savable. It's just it would need a. You don't have to get in there before the roof went to crap. Yeah. Electric, water, new water lines. And then you'd have to live in a town like this. Yeah. This is depressing. This does look depressing. If people are road raging left and right. That's just a hint of how aggressive people are here. Mm -hmm. And the type of things you're going to have to deal with from people all the time living yeah. here. Is there a Starbucks here? Let's see. There's an a, a interesting universe. Maybe on the outskirts there's better parts of town. Yeah. Maybe like somewhere in the outskirts yeah. there's a better little area. That's sure is crap in there. You got the phone charger? I think this one's almost ready to get charged up. Yeah, I got the phone charger. Yeah, I want to go to the big one. See, that's what I'm telling you. I think like, yeah. there's parts of the city that are way worse than that. Because I remember this being beautiful. I remember going on walks, like, by myself. Hmm. Yeah. See, like I'm saying, like, almost home. What the crap? Yeah, I'm telling you, this is even more run down here. Mm -hmm. This is like Detroit looking type of stuff out here. Yeah. In wow. 20, 30 so years yeah, ago, need, this need, place was beautiful. I need to hook up the cell phone to the charger. I'll die eventually. It's been recording all day. No, it has to be from the front. I, I'm giving it to you. <laughs> This is like Detroit looking type of crap. Yeah. It's not even like moderately going to crap. It's like completely gone to crap. Yeah. Oh, this... oh, mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I gotta get this one short. Yeah. It's not dead yet, but it's gonna be if we don't yeah. take care of it. Uh, dude, this is depressing in every direction you look. Yeah. Those bullet holes or no? No. no. Just cracks in the house. Yeah. Like I remember hanging out in the backyard by myself and it was nice. Yeah. 
I don't see this being a place you want to hang out with anymore. No. City's just that car's got a broken window too, so they're breaking in the windows to steal stuff. Yeah, like take this right here, for example. That house is boarded up, yeah, and these houses are boarded up. Yeah, it's like the whole town's mm -hmm. it's one of the worst I've seen in the United States, as far as just like yeah. almost on part of Detroit. Mm -hmm. yep. Obviously, smaller than Detroit, but mm -hmm. nonetheless, wow, this is like serious urban decay. Yeah. Here. I do see a lot of Spanish people moving in. I guess they're the ones filling in the void. Yeah. And even if you get a good deal on it, it's like it doesn't seem like you would want to invest into a place that's like clearly going to crap. Yeah. I mean, if you had like other people that wanted to move in and buy houses as well. You know, it'd be one thing, but... Yeah, you'd have to have a... But no, no, if it's going down, it's going down. Mm -hmm. Places are either getting better or they're getting worse. There's no middle ground. Yeah. Their murder rates weren't too high, though, you said, right? No. Crap. So the murder rate isn't too high. Wow! Wow! That was unnecessary. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like, that was... You can't see it's a... See, like, there's just super, like, hyper-aggressive people. Mm -hmm. That was absolutely unnecessary. Yeah. I wouldn't want to let their town go to crap. But if they're rude and nasty people like that, let their town go to crap. Yeah. I wouldn't want to invest. Imagine, let's say, like, us. We came here with the idea of, okay, we can invest and help restore, you know, her family's house with her. Yeah. And then you come here and you see people behaving like that. It's like, well, let their town go to crap. I don't want to live around people that are that freaking, you know what I mean? That rude unnecessarily. That was completely unnecessary. And their car is an old piece of crap, but my car is brand new. Yeah. You know, like my bumper in the front has sensors. This is it's a five thousand dollar bumper, and I'm out of state. So if I imagine if my car gets disabled, I'm out of state. Mm -hmm. Just because you want to prove that you're tough or something, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, like there's just there's a reason why it's falling to ground. Yeah. Like if somebody like right now we come here with the idea of okay, let's invest, let's see if we can make your town better. And then you get to see people behaving like that. Not just one or two. Like, this has been just a pattern since we got to this town. seeing people acting rude. Yeah. Let's leave. Let's go to Muncie. I don't even want to spend any money here. I want to go to the big one. You see why your town's falling to crap, people? I you don't want to hear it, but do you see why it's going to crap? I wouldn't want to live here. I could buy a house here, fix it up. But if I got to deal with people like that going to the grocery store... I'm not gonna live here. Hyper aggressive, all probably all drugged out if they're acting like that. Because, like I said, sober people don't behave like that. Wanna go to Monty? Hello. I wanna go to the big boy. Not here though. Here? Yeah. Alright. It's the only one in the area. Alright. So. GPS and let's get there. Mm. That's a long one. Look at that red light. He almost blew that red light. And the car behind us is road raging us. I wish you guys could see how the car close the car behind us is right now. Look, I'm literally going to get out of the way so he can pass. They're all angry. What are you angry about? Go. Go. If you're in a rush, go. Go. If you're in a rush, go. What are they angry about? I don't know. What is there to be so angry about? They come right up to you and, like, try to force you. There's literally no traffic out here. There's no need for it. <laughs> this is the nastiest people I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> Unbelievable. And what's crazy is we were just 150 Turn miles right away in Ohio. Jackson Street. Kindest people ever. Yeah. What am I doing here? You're turning right on Jackson at the light. It's like they're super hyper aggressive for no apparent reason. It'd be a great time to stop a YouTube channel just so you can show how much of a jerk they are. You can probably get rich just having a YouTube channel, just showing how rude people are here. Mm -hmm. This will be the perfect place to start a YouTube channel. Just on a daily basis, just driving around, 
I'd put a camera in the facing backwards in the car and just record how rude people are on a daily basis. Newly renovated apartments from $789. Mm -hmm. I'm glad if you can run for $700, why would you spend a thousand trying to pick up an old house? True. Only to have somebody come and spray paint gang graffiti on the back of it. Oh, okay. No. What I don't get is why are they so aggressive? What is there to be aggressive about? There's no traffic. What's the... Look at this one. He's just like, why are they so aggressive? Like, it's like all their, the way they, like, every action they make is, like, uh, aggressive and, like. The public library doesn't have a U. It has a V. They spelled it wrong. P V B. <laughs> Oh crap, they ain't gonna rush me. I know I was standing kind of like in the way there, but like that didn't require that. I thought I don't, there was, it didn't seem like there was nobody coming from the other direction, so I thought I was gonna be able to go. I don't get it. Oddly enough, like I said, you just go a few towns over, and it's like the nicest people on earth. Like, Midwestern people are usually friendly and nice. I would absolutely say this has to be one of the nastiest sounds I've seen as far as yeah. like the mannerisms of and, people. You know, I haven't seen any like Oklahoma type things out here, but they don't have. It's probably like not it. legal. Yeah. That's why there's. I don't know. That's not even worth getting into it. A lot of ambulances probably means a lot of ODs. But remember when we came in the town, there was ambulances rushing. Yeah. Usually when you see a lot of ambulances, it means a lot of people are ODing. Mm -hmm. We can look at the news and get an idea of what type of things happen in this town. How far yeah. are we from this place? Oh, we're like a minute away. Okay, well, left or right? It'll be on the right. Okay. I said, these are absolutely the nastiest people I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Just being here for an hour, I already hate this place. I can definitely see why people are leaving and not wanting to be here. Yeah. People are that nasty all the time. Who would want to live in a place where everybody's mannerisms are that nasty? Mm -hmm. In a quarter mile, turn right. Yeah. You sure you don't want to move on the next right. time? Right. No, I want to eat a big one. Okay. And you promise, so. Alright. I'm going to have to almost stop with the bathroom. Yeah, it's okay. A little further. It's alright. Oh, I like it though. Yeah. Alright. I, I can't run over the pedestrian. No. I have to wait. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm sure the person behind us is about to lose their mind. Mm -hmm. There they go. He's gonna drive fast. Watch. Yeah. Why are they so aggressive? Mm -hmm. He purposely tried to step on the gas to make a special crap car sound loud. Yeah. They are just the nastiest people I've ever seen. Like, I'm actually almost, I hate to say this because I know it's your family's town, but I don't really feel bad for them. If that's how nasty the people that are left here are, I don't really feel bad for them. Sorry to say that, baby. Like, I know your family's town and your memories are here. But, dude, like... Wow, that's rude. Now I see where you get it from. What? <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Relax. Cool Billy, huh? Mm -hmm. And they have a drive through pickup. Um, I don't really want to be in this town. I have the feeling I'm going to punch somebody in the face, just so you know. So, like, I'm Why just, I'm going to warn you, I'm probably going to end up punching somebody in the face. No, you won't. Okay, I'm just letting you know. Just been warned. Like, I'll come here and I'll eat here because you want to, but, like, I feel like I'm going to punch one of these Indiana people to the ground, stomp them out, and pee on their face. All right, it's your call.